Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate that. I'd like to invite our immediate partner, the USAID, and we have the mission director. President Nana Akufo-Addo has stated that Ghana must reduce its dependence on foreign aid. In order to reach its full potential, Ghana must move beyond aid. I and the U.S. government fully support this decision. I would now invite our Pixera Global Country Director, Barbara Bulugakwe. SED's journey and success since 2013 has been founded on the bedrock of true partnerships with stakeholders designed to ensure inclusiveness and sustainability of the SED program. Partnerships with stakeholders such as all of you in this room are critical for the success of this and future SME development programs and initiatives to our SMEs, BSPs, and other industry stakeholders, we also say thank you for your active role on this journey. We want to go to our exhibition site, and we would humbly request Madam Sharon Cromer to open the exhibition for us. Exhibition open. Kiwi and Greenfields Offshore Services, we provide service to the oil companies and the mining companies as well. We are more into PPEs, the personal protection equipment, safety boots, and other aspects. Any other thing that the company needs, if we don't know how, we try to source it for them, yes. Their protection is more of, that's what we think much about. Yes, so at the moment, that's what we display. We display more of our items. So how has the project helped you? So far, so good. How, what have they done? In what ways? Do you know? Have you participated in some trainings or something? Yeah, with Pizera, we've acquired so much knowledge about how to approach most of the company. You know. It's a bit hard to approach them, but with their help, we have gotten some companies to do with us at now. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Genu Group. Genu Group Logistics. Good. Good. Okay. Good. How are you? I'm fine. How are Good. you too? Good. So tell me a little bit about Genu. Genuine Group is basically um, a logistics support company. We have um, various trucks that aid in transportation. We have the 40 foot flatbeds. We have specialized 48 foot flatbeds. We have extendable trailers. We have low bed trailers. We have Kanta. In Ghana, we call it Kia. Yes, those are smaller pickups we use to help clients. We have clients, we target mainly the oil and gas and then the mining industries, but then we have other commercial industries we engage in. We also um, Engage in rental services. Yes, if you need a car, probably a 4x4 a saloon car to aid you tra travel somewhere within city, we are also able to do that. And we also engage in clearing and forwarding. If you have goods coming in or going out of the country, we can help you do that. That's basically how, how, what we do. How long have you been in operation? Um, five years. Five years. Oh, so you're rather new. How many employees do you have? Currently, we have um, about 20 employees. Okay. And you've benefited from this program? Very much. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some of the things. Well, um, when we look at an industry like the oil and gas, we have a lot of compliance issues. Safety, um, anti-bribery and corruption, all these. We, we had the exposure from these trainings, and then it helped us engage with these um, multinationals. Do you see your company growing? Definitely. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I'm glad to see you have a, a female partner here. <laughs> Um, we are actually a one-stop shop for welding and cutting accessories and consumables and we also manufacture and supply industrial gases as well like medical oxygen, nitrogen, helium and other gases. We also import argon and some other gases from abroad. And then we also deal in refrigerant gases as you can see one here. Yeah. It has actually helped us in getting to know other companies as well. Yes, we actually made quite a lot of contacts from here. We are actually dealing with most companies like Genuine Group, um, Kwanza, Danest, they are all our clients. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. 57? <laughs> and still growing strong. Still growing <laughs> yes. Strong. <That's> good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, welcome to Rainbow. We are a management consulting firm and we provide SME capacity building programs. And so we've been involved in the S C D program. We actually executed a training of trainers and we've been involved with a number of projects, not only UNICEF, SMB, a lot of programs going on in Ghana towards our development. And so we're looking forward to a lifelong partnership. Um, we are into safety product and then engineering product and then also casting. Yeah, for casting we 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 are with some foreign company from Morocco. So they do the production and everything. And then we supply it to the mines and all those people they need the custom products. So these are basically some of the items that we supply. Yeah. From download, um, dickies, welders, sure. Hi, how are you? We are fine, thank you. You are welcome to Cable. Cable Solution Service. Um, cable Solution Service, we have two products and service in the market. We are into ICT and electronic security. For ICT, we provide voice and data installations. And uh, we use um, nano stations for our wireless connectivity. And we use that of the um, tender TP link for our network infrastructure. We are saying that security is now closer to us. There's no need for one to say that I have been stabbed or somebody have come to steal me, whilst he can easily connect some of these basic, basic device. For instance, we have an intruder alarm here. This system, what it does is that even if you are not able to provide the CCTV, we can put your SIM card here. We call it intruder alarm. We program it with your phone. Anytime anybody is coming closer to your place, it calls you. It alerts you that somebody is approaching your place. And it's able to program for three or five numbers. We can add the police personnel who is around you. Anybody you think that is very closer to you that can attend to you when you are even not there, we add the number to it. So that when it calls and you don't pick, it goes to the next number. So technology is now very, very easy to use. It's advanced. Very nice. Yeah. Um, Slickham, we are into um, graphic designing and advertising. Um, that's what we do. We do um, corporate design and printing, souvenirs and um, giveaways, yeah. So when it's and giveaways, crystals, and plug design, yeah, um, safety signs and, and, and whatever. So how large is your company? What size is your company? How many employees? Uh, medium. It's a medium size. It's medium. Uh, yeah, medium how size. many employees do you know? Uh, we have about six. Thank you. Thank you. Right, right. Thank you very much for visiting our stand. So, through the help of uh, SCD and Pixera, I've been able to establish the only metallurgical testing laboratory in the country. 
So, yes, we do tensile tests. After the weld, you machine this to these sides, sizes, and you test them for the tensile test. These are samples for tensile. These are for bent tests, impact tests. Now, look at this. You can now see the welding over here. Yes, this is a parent metal, another parent metal, and then the welding. So we do weld engineer, engineering. We review their procedures, quality assurance, quality control, non-destructive testing. I mean, we do all this on a scale for our local people. So the problem right now is that I have been helped by SCD and Pixera to get to this stage. The next thing I want you to do is that, you see, the real beneficiaries those who have to be trained. Nobody is helping them to get trained. <laughs> so they are not coming. And once they don't come for training, I don't have any job. That's the situation right now. Uh -huh. So I think the next push will be that somebody should lead the way in helping the real beneficiaries to have access in terms of uh, paying to, in terms of this, then we can also be moving them up and then helping them. Southeast, how are you? Good. Tell us about your company. Okay, you can have one. We are a labor supply company. Your labor supply? supply yes. Okay. What kind of labor do you supply? I cut across administration, technical, any kind of labor. What did that mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, technical, administration, okay. any kind of labor we provide. And then we so are how, many, how many people have you supplied uh, to oh. this industry? Do you know? Over, over, over a thousand. Okay. Well, how large is your company? Very large. What's large? Yeah. How many employees of your over, company? Over 400. 400. Okay. Very good. I was contracting up. Contract stuff. Thank you. Keep three. Keep three. Okay, so we are into manpower, placements and recruitment, which means we can place and then we can also recruit them and manage them by the specification of the client. Currently we're doing that with uh, E&I and Talo. We handle the marine staff for Talo and the e and I, yeah, we handle the drivers and uh, we do vehicle leasing for them as well. We do, um, as you can see here, we constructed the base for E&I and, and we manage it for them as well. Yeah. We do fleet forwarding as well and uh, corporate drive where we target the individual um, corporate, um, something like Uber, but we kind of delve into the corporate um, clients. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I think it's, it's kind of give us, we attended for the first time today and it's, I think it's a good exposure. It's a good exposure. Um, honestly, I didn't know there's going to be an exhibition, so when I say I quickly dashed the office and then I grabbed oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. And now uh, we're also looking at, probably looking at uh, the USAID training capacity building for most of our marine staff oh, yeah, on safety and all that so yeah my MD was here this morning he spoke to one of the ladies so we'll take that up later yeah. right. thank you